Hi there. You are welcome to today's devotional. Today, we are looking at an interesting topic entitled, Children Are Like Arrows. According to the Bible, Psalm 127, the verse number 4, it says, As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Children are like arrows in the hands of parents. And therefore, parents are supposed to take very good care of their children. If you don't do that, you realize that arrows has the ability to pierce you and it can harm you. Therefore, if you don't take care of your children, they have the ability to harm you one day. Children are growing up in this generation and are able to trade they are able to buy anything that they want. They are able to even have virtual sex. They are able, able to go and get predators. They are able to meet other predators. All of these things are able to be done on the computer or on the phone via the internet. Children now are very smart and are able to to explore the internet and do so many things. And therefore, it is incumbent on parents to take very good care and nurture the children's course along this generation path to be able to do the right thing, to be able to use the internet for the right course. Parents of a necessity must be warriors of their children physically and spiritually. They are supposed to bear their children up. They are supposed to become their cheerleaders. They are supposed to support and help their children to nurture a certain cause that is godly so that when they grow, they are unable to depart from it. Bible said that train up a child the way they should go. When they grow, they will not depart from it. It is incumbent on every parent to help and nurture their children. Just as an arrow is in the hand of, of a warrior, it's able to destroy, it's able to kill. Children are like same in the hand of the youth. And therefore, we encourage you today as a parent to make sure that you nurture the course of your child and help them to live a godly kind of life. Help them to appreciate God's perspective to life and help them to be able to do the right thing at the right time. Make sure that you encourage them to do things the right way. Make sure that when they are wrong, you correct them in a godly manner so that they do not end up becoming an arrow that will in turn come to hurt you but will be an arrow that will help you to gain victory shall we pray father in the name of jesus we we'll pray that lord today you will help us to teach our children and to train them in the fear of the lord in the name of jesus we pray amen thank you god bless you and see you tomorrow.